In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up AutoCAD to create an isometric drawing. So for this drawing, we are going to use, well, we're going to go to our week uh, 14 and 15 in our box.com account. I will click on that, and we're going to go to the drawings isometric. The first drawing we're going to work on is this drawing right here. This is called ISO 1. I will demonstrate how to actually create the drawing itself. You will also have to dimension it, but we have uh, other tutorial videos that will remind you how to create isometric dimensions. So, uh, I'm going to uh, minimize this and move it out of our way. So, I have AutoCAD open here. And AutoCAD, uh, you have to change some settings to work in isometric. So what I'm going to do is go down to my uh, snap settings, click on that uh, snap settings arrow, open up the drafting <coughs> settings dialog box. And right in this area here, we're up to this point, we're pretty much always set to rectangular. We will change it to isometric. Make sure your adaptive and display are unchecked and then click OK. As you can see now, the grid has changed shape. All right. So if I hit F5, I can go from right side view, left side view, top view. All right, so I'm going to start out in left side view just like that. That's pretty much the only thing we have to change to work in isometric. I'm going to turn my ortho tool on. I'm going to go up and get a line tool and I'm just going to click. Notice how I can only go in isometric left and right and up and down. F5 will change how that works. See that? <clears throat> Alright, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to here let's move this back into play so you can see it. I'm going to draw the back rectangular shape first. I'll draw that the back outline if you could see all the way through it. All right, so let me move it out of the way so you don't have to be bothered with that. So I'm going to go back to my line command. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to type in six, hit enter. I'm going to type in four, hit enter. I'm going to type six, hit enter. And I'm going to type four, hit enter. So I now have my back rectangle. Now the drawing is two inches deep. That back part is two inches deep. So I'm gonna have to turn my. Uh, well, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can do it here. It's the F5. Yeah, there we go. So I hit my F5 and I put it into the top view, and now I can come forward two inches. I'm then going to go down. I'll go F5. There we go. I'm gonna go down my four inches, and F5. I'm going to go over my six, then I'm going to come up my four, and then I'll just go back. Okay, so I'm going to connect the dots now. Now only part of this rectangle will be seen, this isometric rectangle. Now even though it looks like we're drawing a three-dimensional object, we're not really. Um, this object is flat, and let me demonstrate that to you. See that? It's flat. It's it's a two and a half. It's a two and a half um, axis drawing. It's not really three dimensional, even though it kind of looks like it is. Okay, I'm not going to draw the back part right there because it's not going to be seen. Now I'm going to come over two inches. I'm going to go to my copy, click on this endpoint, and I'm going to come over two. Okay, then I'm going to come over two from there. Oop, I should have come over four. That's my mistake. Let me get rid of one of these guys. Okay, I'll just go copy this guy again. And we'll copy it at two. All right, so there it is. Now I'm going to click on these endpoints because it comes back. You hit F5, comes back, turn my ortho back on. Comes back at one, two, and I'll go forward right there. 
Now, as you can see, this line is not going to be needed. So I'm going to get rid of that line. This line is also not going to be needed because you can't see through the object. I'm going to trim this out. I'm going to bring this line straight down. Hit F5, bring it straight down, go down 4, and then I'll bring that forward just like that. Now I'm going to uh, take another line command, bring it F5, bring it straight over, and I will then trim it out of here. The next thing I will do is I will trim this up. So now we've created the back area of our object, and I'll bring it back into view here. So I've created this whole back base. Now I'm going to create the part that's laying down and sticking out. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the line command. And I need to hit F5. And I'm going to bring it forward 3.75 inches. I'm going to come straight over 2 inches. And I'm going to go straight back. Okay. Now I'm going to click right here. I'm going to come straight up, hit F5, go straight up two inches. F5, come over two inches, and then come back down. All right. Now, as you can see, this line here is never going to be seen, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I will come back then, straight back, F5, straight back. And I'll just go like that, and then I will trim this guy out. There you go. Now, as you can see, this line will not be seen. I just drew all those so you can see what it looks like. And then I will bring this guy straight back, and this guy straight over. And then I will trim this, and this, and this, and I will delete this. And now, that is how we create our isometric drawing. So if you look at that, look at this, they are the same. So that is a very simple method to create an isometric drawing. After this, you can put in your isometric dimensions. And that is how you create a simple isometric drawing.